requirements of trees trees are dependent upon certain soil and atmospheric conditions which influence their growth and development one influence of moisture the form of the tree and its growth and structure depend greatly upon the supply of moisture botanists have taken the moisture factor as the basis of classification and have subdivided trees into those that grow in moist places hydrophytes those that grow in medium soils mesophytes and those that grow in dry places xerophytes water is taken up by the roots of the tree from the soil the liquid absorbed by the roots carries in solution the mineral salts the food of the tree and no food can be taken up unless it is in solution much of the water is used by the tree and an enormous amount is given off in the process of evaporation these facts will explain some of the fundamental principles in the care of trees to a tree growing on a city street or on a lawn where nature fails to supply the requisite amount of water the latter must be supplied artificially especially during the hot summer months or else dead branches may result too much thinning out of the crown causes excessive evaporation and too much cutting out in woodlands causes the soil to dry and the trees to suffer for the want of moisture this also explains why it is essential in wooded areas to retain on the ground the fallen leaves in decomposing and mixing with the soil the fallen leaves not only supply the trees with food material but also tend to conserve moisture in the ground and to prevent the drying out of the soil raking off the leaves from wooded areas a practice common in parks and on private estates hurts the trees seriously some soils may have plenty of moisture but may also be so heavily saturated with acids or salts that the tree cannot utilize the moisture and it suffers from drought just the same as if there had been no moisture at all in the soil such soils are said to be physiologically dry and need treatment in the development of disease moisture is a contributing factor and therefore in cavities or underneath bandages where there is likely to be an accumulation of moisture decay will do more damage than in places that are dry and exposed to the sun 